told you that Senator Lindsey Graham is leading the charge to get these terror trials out of civilian court. As a former JAG officer and a Republican, mm -hmm. you would not be surprised to, uh, to know that Joe Lieberman was a part of the, sure. uh, the quest and that John McCain would be by his side. Part They're of the other. That's all part of the same posse. But when these two Democrats, and possibly joined by Evan Bayh, who mentioned it on Sunday, join Lindsey Graham, I think the president has to take notice. Well, and obviously uh, they are part of a bipartisan bill now that Lindsey Graham will be introducing. We're talking about Jim Webb, the Virginia senator, and Blanche Lincoln, the Democrat from Arkansas. Now, they're going to join him in saying that they do not agree that these trials should happen in New York City. The interesting point about Evan Bayh is that he seems to be upset about the cost of having it here in New York City. 200, is it billion right. or million? Million. Huh, million. A it's, it's, hard, it's scary that you get the A billion and, over and five, B. which is what they would forecast. Well, it's a heck of a lot of money. It, it is a lot of money. So what uh, what this uh, group of senators, Democrats and Republicans, are going to do, they're going to uh, try to attach an amendment onto the first thing that comes down the pike. And it looks like, like it could be that much ballyhooed jobs bill. So they would attach this bill, uh, rather amendment to the bill, that would say, uh, all right, we're going to pull the funding for it. Now, the reason this is important is there's a story. Remember on Friday, we told you that the White House was sending out signals, hey, it's not going to New York. Well, this morning, there are stories that apparently during some budget talks yesterday, one of the acting attorney generals said, we haven't made a decision. New York is not off the table. Wait a second. Senator Schumer said, don't do it. Uh, Commissioner Kelly said, uh, I really don't recommend it. Mayor Bloomberg says it doesn't really seem to make sense. Senator Gillibrand as well. All, uh, all Democrats and, and one independent in Mayor Bloomberg, I'm wondering why they haven't just pulled out of this. But in his budget, in President Obama's budget, he has $540 million to build the Illinois prison, $73 million to transfer these uh, prisoners to the U.S. And, of course, for the terror trials, it's all figured in so this budget. So the money's budget. built in. Yeah, but here's, here's the problem that a lot of people have with it. It's not about the money. Yes, that's a heck of a lot of money. Especially now. But it's, uh, it's about how this whole thing has played out. Now Democrats can probably take cover in saying that it's about the money. And trust me, that's what's going to happen when they decide to change their minds. Here is what President Obama said about the threat level of having a civilian trial in New York City just yesterday. Some of it, people being legitimately scared about, well, if we've mm -hmm. got uh, somebody who uh, we've been told is a terrorist in our backyard, uh, will that make us target? Uh, one of the things that we've had to try to communicate to the country at large is that historically we've tried a lot of terrorists in our courts. We have them in our federal prisons. They've never escaped. Uh, and these folks are no different. But uh, it's been one of those things that's uh, been subject to a lot of, uh, in some cases, uh, uh, yeah, pretty uh, rank politics. It's not rank politics. If you're a deli owner, if you're a restaurant owner, if you uh, need to get back and forth to the city to go to sure. your job, you can't get through. There's going to be a ring of security. Number two, and no one can uh, deny this, CIA and FBI will tell you that key intelligence got out in the first World Trade Center bombing in the investigation. And if you want to see Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the sketches in your newspaper every single day, ranting and raving about your country, if you think that helps the war on terror, right. I mean, they're already finding inspiration in CDs coming to us from overseas. Now their inspiration could be at 23rd sure. Street and 5th Avenue. Absolutely. Uh, we've got former Attorney General for the United States, uh, Mukasey, with us. He'll be joining us promptly. He says they should do it at Gitmo, obviously, because they're, they built a facility for just that.